Hello, and we are back once again with a Rescue Bots short review for Rotary for Cybertron. I am Amy. I am Nick. Hi. <laughs> and we are going to review another episode of Rescue Bots, obviously, because um, that's why we're here. Uh, this episode is You've Been S what is it? Squilish? Squilched? Squilched. 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 It's, it's <laughs> yeah. a really strange word. It's squilched. Squilched. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, um, yes, it's called You Have Been Squilched, and it's Rescue Bots meets the Blob meets Flubber. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot but, of green snotty goo. Yeah, and I've noticed around. that lately. In the episode before that, there was a lot of green stuff that was causing yeah. problems as well with the green dust that came off the, the asteroid. Oh, yeah. That, That's yeah. true. So I thought, oh, that's an interesting connection. We're getting a lot of green stuff. <laughs> green and then, of stuff, course, they yeah. call this, we're being attacked by a giant booger. <laughs> that was funny. That was I loved funny. It. It was great. <laughs> so basically, what happens in this episode, um, yeah, we get... Doc um, Green is causing havoc again, well, basically. <laughs> Yeah, kind of. <laughs> he got stuff from, from outer space. It's this blobby stuff that he's like, he's still in the middle of, of, of kind of um, uh, in experimenting on it. And we get like, well, there's, there's the sub, there's also a subplot as well, because at the very beginning, uh, Graham gets a, a letter. Um, he's been accepted to a Brainiac school called the Grimsky Tech. And so yeah. he's trying to decide whether or not he's going to go and leave the team and go on that. So there's your little subplot for the, for the episode. Yeah, but it was, then it was definitely Graham and Boulder centric. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Cody gets called away by Frankie to come to the lab because something's going down. So he shows up and I have to say, I am disappointed. I am Why? very disappointed because he had a hoverboard and we still have no real life hoverboards. Doggone it, Back to the Future. What have you done to us? Oh. I, know. I got serious there, right? Shoes. Yeah, anti gravity like, shoes and a hoverboard. Oh, so I was like, we've been chipped. We've been chipped. Ah. Oh. I know. If, if I would be friends with Doc Green if I could get my hands on that stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially since when I was at San Diego Comic-Con, they were selling the prototype that was like, uh -huh. and they were they were claiming, it's like, it doesn't actually hover, but it, it slides really well on, wet, on, on, on slick surfaces. I was like, that's not a hoverboard. I was no, like, I'm safety. sorry. I will not even <laughs> pay for something like that or even desire to have something like that if it doesn't really hover levitate Over. without something you know it's, it has to if it's not if it's not levitating it's not a hoverboard i'm sorry that's a cheap ripoff <laughs> i don't care if it's the i don't care if it's the movie prop i don't care it's gotta <laughs> hover it's gotta be a real hoverboard oh anyhow sorry i had to get a little you know ranty there about it but yeah but yes it's cool that that he was on a hoverboard when he was on his way to there but anyhow they come out with this little slime thingy slimy blobby thing that they start playing with and they're throwing it at each other and then it gets zapped by some sort of electric uh, an electrical Electric source course. yeah yeah <laughs> and it, suddenly it starts behaving <laughs> in a different yeah. way and it starts absorbing stuff so it's like oh it could go really really dark they didn't go there but they so co so totally could it have it kind of did mr pettipaw's got eaten yes. well somewhat by somewhat. this glob squirrels <laughs> did squirrels yeah people and he, even chase yes and it was like, oh my gosh, because they didn't, at first they didn't tell you what was going to happen to them when they were uh -huh. absorbed. So it was like, it just got bigger and it just uh -huh. started going places and doing things. And so it was like, Chase, oh my gosh. And you knew uh -huh. somebody was going to get absorbed, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I, I could tell that eventually I was like, okay, if this is absorbing metal objects, somebody's going to get eaten. Somebody's going to yeah. eat. And I don't know what's going to happen to him. Like, uh, are they going to get taken over? Is this going to be like the blob for reals? It's just a kid version. Speaking of, but speaking of Chase, he was hardly in it, but he had some of the best lines. Yes. There, There's a line at the very end. I don't want to give it away. I actually laughed out loud. I was cracking up. Is this up. one the stuff where he says he's going to have to remove something in private? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gelatin residue that I'll have to remove in private. I'm like, well, 
Uh, yeah, that was a little of a dodgy comment as well. I was like, yeah, you have to remove that in private. I was like, oh gosh, the fans are just going to go nuts over that one. But yes, I it was hilarious. I about <laughs> fell out of my chair when that happened. It was just, it was really good. Oh, there were like, a, a couple awesome. of really great lines in this. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, the good thing about it, um, uh, I like the fact that in this, uh, we got a little... Um, uh, get, a, get a little electrical lesson about direct current opposed to alternating. And I thought, oh, that was kind of cool. So there was something that, that you can learn out of this. Um, I would not... I, they, the only thing they didn't put in there is a warning about how electricity is dangerous. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the they kind of said thing. the reason at the end why they uh, were safe is because the the way that the globs... It's, it was an insulator? Was like, yeah, it was the insulator, so. <sighs> You know what? Still, how did people breathe in that? They were well, they have stuck in it. Remember? Yeah, air, about bubbles, air bubbles, but like air bubble can only last for so long. And for two, <laughs> that much of an electrical charge go through this thing, and they didn't feel a thing. Yeah. I Again, just, it's the physics. I mean, of I know it's the physics of stuff. And yes, they did say that it that they were insulated, so it wouldn't hurt anybody. But they didn't really know. They said they were. They said, I, I guess it did actually happen that 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 it was really insulator against the electrical current. Oh, you didn't know that before, before. you did it, <laughs> Mister Pettypaws. All the squirrels I, and the whole swim <laughs> swim pool people that that you were got, sucked Blades into the stood state. up for Mister Pettypaws. Yes. Blades went out to defend his yes, little he kid. Did. <laughs> it was so cute. And one of the best, cutest moments I thought was when Cody and Frankie were, were playing with it yes. at the very beginning. I'm like, this is so cute. This is how it kids was a, are. And they are going to relate to this very well. It was well. a kid moment. And it was very, very easy to, to see. And I was they were acting like kids. It was great. Yeah, I, I was liked that. I'm like, I want to be in that situation, just throwing stuff around. You know? Yep. 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 Oh, and I also liked the, because how Chase how he get ab got absorbed is uh -huh. miss you know chief put himself in the line of danger and that's the reason why chief got absorbed because he got stuck and i thought oh now i see where Cade gets it from yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but his whole purpose for getting involved was to help get the kids out of the way that were at the playground so i was like oh he's like giant slime ball headed this way run <laughs> i was the like thing is, if, if you said that to kids i don't think they'd be running to be like where <laughs> where exactly where is the giant slime ball yeah yeah i want to see <laughs> and the kids nowadays yeah they probably yeah. would be doing that yeah yeah oh awesome it was a fun, there's just some great one-liners in this. It, it was a great episode. I mean, it, I think this is just kind of almost a standard now. Every episode episode is kind of fun. It's just great. Uh -huh. I, you know, certainly there's little continuity things, or, or not continuity, little um, things about the, 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 the logistics of how something yeah. can actually happen. Yes. It's cartoon physics. physics. Just think, Looney Tunes didn't make sense when we grew yeah. up. So. Griffin Rock is magical. It it, it does break yeah. some of the laws of, of, of that we know and hold dear to reality. But yeah. yeah. Um but yeah, it was it was good. And then of course we we continued to hit back on the, the whole subplot by the end we find out what Graham's answer is, which I'm not going to spoil. Yeah. You'll have yeah. to go and see it. Are they gonna I, break I, up I, the team? I like, I like that they centered on Graham this time yeah. around. Yeah, it, it really was. It was a Graham-centric one. And and not only that, is that they made um, Boulder out to be the... He's the smart one. He's smart. He's a smart guy. Mm -hmm. He's the big, gentle giant with brains. Yeah. So, and I like that, that, that Graham didn't have his hat on in a few scenes. He didn't oh, have his yeah. smart hat on in a few yeah. scenes. So. Good. Yeah. Good. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So yeah. you'll have to go and find the show to see if he actually breaks up the team or not. So Yeah. Yep. And you were right about the soundtrack. This time round, uh, the kids were not around, and so I put my headphones on and listened to it. The soundtrack was really good. I was like, yeah. oh, dang uh, it. I'm very, have very, to, I, have to go, I have to go back and listen to all of the other episodes now with my headset on going, oh, wow, that's really yeah. cool. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of it is very movie-oriented, but then they also have their own individual stuff, and it's really cool. I love yeah. the music in this. So. Yep, it's really good, so... That is probably more than five minutes, but hey, nope, it was it okay. was it was good. We had to say it, yeah. so it must be said. Uh, and this... go watch the snot that took over. Yeah. <laughs> yes, go watch it. It won't be gro You won't be too grossed out. It's that gross. <laughs> yeah, it's not really that gross, but yeah, maybe at the very end when they're all ew, yeah. we're dripping green goo. 
It's yeah. like a big jello mold. Yeah. <laughs> Just think of it as jello. Yeah, jello is really messy, what can I say? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, well we'll see you guys next week then. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> awesome. Cool.